So, here we go. Let's get straight into it. I'm going to go through every single game that's happening on Saturday, Sunday and the Monday game and you're going to get my predictions. Whether you agree or not is a totally different matter. So, let's start with the biggest game of the weekend. Liverpool at home to Manchester United. Now, Liverpool fans must be thinking what's happened to them recently because they absolutely tore Arsenal a new one up at Anfield a few weeks back. But since then, they've been a bit indifferent. Um, bad news for them as well as Sadio Mane has come back from international duty and he's now out for six weeks. That, in my opinion, is a huge miss for them because the way they play with him in the team is completely different to how they play without him in the team. He's their best player by a country mile. Um, Man United have got a few injuries as well. Uh, Paul Pogba, obviously we knew, we've known about that one for a few weeks now. Um, but also Fellaini. And you can laugh at Fellaini all you like. He's chipped in with some important goals for them recently. So again, that's going to be a miss. Um, I'm going with... I'm going to get ripped for this. But I'm going with a Man United comfortable victory. Um, the reason I'm saying that is the fact that Liverpool can't defend. Jose, yes, we know he's going to go and park the bus. We know his style away at the bigger teams. But Liverpool are going to have to go for it at some point in that game. And I think that Man United have got enough up front with Lukaku, with Martial and Rashford to pick them off. And I think that it will end up Liverpool 1 Man United 3. The next game of the weekend is Burnley at home to West Ham United. Um, now, Burnley, they're doing all right this season. West Ham, can't really say the same for them. Um, Burnley, normally pretty decent at home, although this season they're better away. So, you know, West Ham, look at them. They, they've got the basis of a half-decent team. I don't know really what's happened with West Ham, to be honest with you. Um, Slavin Bilic is under severe pressure right now as well to get it right. Any more losses, I think that could be the end for him. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to go with Burnley 1, West Ham 0. Moving on, Crystal Palace. The team that have yet to score a goal in the Premier League now take on the reigning champions, Wow, it don't get any harder than that, does it? Jesus Christ, the games are coming thick and fast for them and they're big, big games for them. Poor old Roy Hodgson. <laughs> He's took over a club that were 4-0 and and they could be 8-0. and Wow, there we go. That's only going one way and that is a Chelsea thumping against Crystal Palace. So I'm going to go with Crystal Palace nil. Yes, they're still not going to score a goal. Chelsea, 5 Moving on to Man City. Man City take on Stoke at the Etihad. Um, now, Stoke have done all right this season. They, they've not ripped up any trees, but they're doing all right. Um, Man City, free-flowing football. They're absolutely taking teams apart at times. Um, their forward line is absolutely immense. And they're a joy to watch, let's be real. Coming from an Arsenal fan, I am slightly envious watching Man City this season so far. But we did all say the same about Man City last season when they won about 10 games in a row. And look where they ended up. Although this season, I do think it is slightly different with Man City. I think they've shored up defensively. I think they've looked better defensively. And when they click, they don't half click. So, again, I can only see this one going one way. And that is Manchester City 4, Stoke City 0. Next up is Swansea at home to Huddersfield. Newly promoted Huddersfield. Um, Swansea have been absolute dog shit this season and I don't think that's going to stop at the weekend. Um, Huddersfield, newly promoted, they've started alright, um, nothing spectacular, nothing great, but whether they stay up or not is a different issue, but I do think they're going to get all three points against Swansea. So I'm going for Swansea 1, Huddersfield 2. Now, on to Tottenham. They're at home to Bournemouth this weekend. 
Um, Bournemouth have been absolute piss poor this season. Um, I expected bigger and better things from them, really, if I'm being honest. But they look like a team that are comfortable in the Premier League. And they look like they're all taking it a little bit for granted, if you ask me. Um, I do expect them to get better. I don't expect them to get relegated. But they have been absolutely woeful this season. And Tottenham haven't. Yes, it's the Wembley curse, the Wembley factor, whatever you want to call it. But let's not forget, in the Champions League, they absolutely ripped Borussia Dortmund. And it could have been 5-6-7 on the night. I know it's a totally different competition. But Tottenham are going to end this hoodoo at some point and they're going to get a run going at home because they're getting a run going away and they're blitzing teams away from home. This is going to be a formality in my opinion. I can see this being Tottenham 4, Bournemouth 1. The next game of the weekend is the late kickoff, and that is at Vicarage Road and that's the game that Arsenal are involved in against Watford. Now I'm going to do my preview for this tomorrow so look forward to that. I'm now going to skip on to the Sunday games. And the first one up on Sunday is the 1.30 kickoff between Brighton and Hove Albion and Everton. Now, Brighton have done all right this season. Nothing spectacular, but they're doing all right. Um, they came to the Emirates a couple of weeks ago and they could have scored a few goals on another day. So, yeah, I think they've got half a chance against Everton. Everton have spent an absolute fortune in the summer. Um, they've not brought a striker as such, not one that's going to go and replace Lukaku's goals, but then who can? We're talking 70, 80 million plus. Um, I think that they've gone out and they've brought three number 10s and they're hoping that they're going to go and replace them goals. So far, that hasn't happened. I, I also think that that's not going to happen again this weekend. I'm going with Brighton and Hove Albion 1, Everton 1. On to the late kickoff on Sunday, and that sees Newcastle travel down to Southampton. Fair play to any Newcastle fan going to that one. You're probably going to miss work on Monday. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a fucking mission for a Sunday evening. But that's what football fans do, and fair play to anyone going to that. Um, I can't see anything other than a draw in this game. I think Southampton haven't looked that great this season, and Newcastle have been doing all right. Um, Rafa Benitez, very tactically sound as a manager. And the new guy, Pellegrino, um, at Southampton, don't really get what he's about at the minute. Um, he hasn't really stamped his authority on that team. So I'm going with Southampton 1, Newcastle 1. On to the last fixture of the weekend, and that sees West Bromwich Albion taking on Leicester City. Um, can't really see, again, anything other than a bore draw in this game. Um, although saying that, West Brom have been flying high recently and I do rate Tony Pulis. Yes, I admit it, I do rate Tony Pulis. A lot of Arsenal fans, for some reason, think he's shit. Well, I don't. I think he's a good manager and I think that he's going to go to Leicester and they're going to nick a 2-1 win and they're going to carry on marching up that table. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stick your comments down there. Let me know what you guys think, what your score predictions are going to be, whether you agree or disagree. Absolutely donkey punch the fuck out the like button. And if you're new to the channel, this is going to be a regular feature every week. So smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bar along the way as well. Laters, peeps.